lots of change next yeah. year between that and the non-smoking and yeah lots yeah. of stuff going on what do you on think about that? the non-smoking thing i think it's great actually. do you really yeah i don't want to um yeah oh you I, don't want to but you want me to what well no ah. i'll let you do that whole thing uh but no seriously i well, just I I, I I think uh you know not to get into that too much, but uh, I read some complaints about it. The opposition was, oh, this place is going to lose business now. It's going to lose business because they can't yeah. smoke in here. I think it's the opposite because I'll go to more places. Sure. Uh, because, you know, I mean, I'm I big into fitness sides. and stuff, and I can't justify. The night that we were speaking at the town hall meeting about the, the handling of the pans yes, was also the night several business owners were speaking about the non-smoking thing. Supporting or and, against? Uh, both. Okay. And a lot of the local restaurants and bars, had they made a great case. I mean, I'm an open-minded guy. I like to think that. Yeah. And they all made a great case for how it would affect their business negatively. But several people made a great case for how it would affect the city positively. Right. One thing that I heard someone talk about was the, the veterans. Mm -hmm. how, how will the Vietnam veterans react? Yeah. I know a, a lot of Vietnam veterans come to our shows, and they all smoke. Yeah. So, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what happens, but change is good, man. But honestly, um, because at our theater, the, you know, same thing happens. Yeah. And I always say, if you can't wait an hour or yeah. two, uh, then it's more of an issue. It's a bad issue with you. And, yeah. You know, and just... I'm all about people doing whatever they want. Like yeah, that's my too. big thing. Like it's none of my business and stuff normally, but that does affect other yeah. people, don't you think? I mean, I mean, I do. Know. I think if it affects, if I, if if it's a habit that I had that affected your health, yeah. then it's your business. Mm -hmm. If it was a habit I had, uh, like loud music or loud, something. Yeah. You know, I mean, even not... even if I were drinking, which I'm not a drinker, but even if I yeah. were drinking, mm -hmm. it doesn't affect you, right? Right. But smoking a cigarette affects you, so yeah, I yeah. can understand where it's an open topic of discussion. Yeah, and I have a lot of respect for the um, the pharmacy. Uh, what is it, CVS? Did oh, you see yes, what sir. they did? Yeah, I did. Yeah, uh, where did. they say we're a health place and we can't justify selling cigarettes, so they completely dropped them. Yeah, I, I mean, think. I can respect that. Mm -hmm. I can. I, I think sense. it's going to be difficult for a lot of companies here in Branson. Maybe, I, I don't want to put a percentage on it, but I'd say less than 10% of them are going to be affected. But I think right. that that small percentage will be greatly affected. Yeah. And well, look that, what we've done here. We've, we've, we've basically picked fights with all sorts of... No, we've got the homeless. We've got to pick fights gotta, with... Some, we, we've got to make some kind of a, a anti-Semitic statement to close out the show. Let's not. No, no I, I think you need to. Oh, yeah, that would be great. And then great. if we could superimpose an American flag drops down... Yeah, and I'll it's a Branson some, show. Absolutely. we got the whole thing. gospel number, and then I'll hold some sparklers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I, I'm... You know, I don't want to be controversial, but I really feel like punching someone right now. Is that, I, I don't want to be confrontational. We, could end, we could end the show with you knocking me out. I have a feeling it'd be the other way around. Not actually. at all, man. Yeah. I, I think you could do it. You're, you mm -hmm. have a background in Krav Maga. A little bit. Tiny See, little that's bit. A, here's something that yeah, you don't know about Christopher. He has a background in the martial yeah, arts. I was big in actually. Um, not to brag about it, but I did martial arts for a long time. Mostly started for fitness and helping out at our college. They had a uh, uh, self-defense class in our area. I didn't go to the I went to kind of a rough area yeah. uh, for school, and so they had these, and most of the uh, girls, I'll be honest, uh, took these classes, and I was asked to help with it, so I helped with year, for years, and then I actually taught little kids. Uh, nice. And uh, had a bit of an accident, because I was supposed to go to China and be in the Asian Games. Is that right? Uh, true story. Competing then, in what aspect? Uh, competing, uh, my specialty was weapons. Really? So, uh, yes, and Wushu, not Krav Maga. So, so for those of you that are listening, spear and a he down. was going to go to China mm -hmm. in a martial arts competition yeah. and fight Asian, Asian guys with weapons. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So there's the controversy so again. So thank you, Universe, for yes. saving you from yeah. what could have been a horrible experience. It could, it, what ended up being a horrible experience. Oh, no. Because, yeah, unfortunately, uh, not to dwell on this whole thing because it was a source of trauma, uh, but I upset some people uh, really? that were involved and I ended up having an accident uh, really? involving some of that situation. Sounds like so. the Yakuza. Yeah. It sounded like the Yakuza decided to leave Japan, go to China, get involved. It was, in a, uh, yeah, it was interesting. But, yeah. uh, so my career changed. But uh, that's why I love this and, sort of thing. And We've tried to do it in Branson. And you were telling me there's a couple places people can yeah. go, the public can go, and sure, take absolutely. some self-defense classes. And yeah, stuff there's like plenty that. of places. Can we talk about it if you like? Yeah, we can uh, talk about it real here, quick. Here yeah, at the Branson Fight minutes. Club, we are a mixed martial arts team. Mm -hmm. um, from time to time, young folks come in and we teach self-defense. But there are a couple of places here in town that would also teach children, and that's their primary uh, uh, business. Uh, Master James Hammock and Master Wayne Carmen are great friends of ours. They have a, a studio, a TCB, 
martial arts. TCB. It's, TCB. I've heard that before. What's Wayne it called Carmen, TCB? It's called TCB because Wayne was the karate coach for uh, Elvis Presley. He was a singer. So, yeah, 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 absolutely. Mm-hmm. He did. Uh, he was. Uh, he was the rock and roll guy. He did he did yeah, some yeah. of the rock and roll music uh-huh. uh, back uh-huh. in the 1920s? He sang uh, Graceland with uh, uh, Paul. Uh, what's his name? Paul Newman. Yeah, Paul Newman. Yeah, he okay. he, uh, he built the whole uh, Neverland with Paul Newman. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it was really uh, influential in the Asian culture. But uh, TCB Martial Arts is over at uh, the park. Uh, the wow, well, shoot, it's over the by, Recplex. No, it's not the Recplex. That's that place is called the Recplex. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this place is over at uh, Branson Park Hills. Park Hills. Branson Hills. I'm sorry, I don't know. Look it up on the interweb. You'll find it under Google uh, it. This TCB. Is how we tell I can't Google. remember what the name of the place is called, but anyway, uh, Master James Hammock and Master Wayne Carmen, they're great with kids. And then, of course, one of your old alma maters across mm-hmm. town in Hollister, yeah. uh, Huffman, has now opened uh, Branson Family Martial Arts. Yeah. So if you want to learn martial arts at e- either of those places, you if you want to learn mixed martial arts, jujitsu, striking, wrestling, conditioning, come to Branson Fight Club. All yeah. three of us are on Facebook. There really isn't a whole lot more going on in Branson. Uh, if I forgot anything, I'm sorry, as far yeah. as martial arts is concerned. Right, right. Uh, but come and find any one of us. Yeah, there's plenty of places to get in, and they welcome, like, uh, new people. Yeah, absolutely, uh, man. Uh, that just want to get started, some people that uh, have had a little bit of training. If like you show up here and we're not the right place for you, we'll point you to the right yeah. place for you. Yeah, and you've done that for me. We've been talking sure, about absolutely. it off camera. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and, uh, and uh, there's also plenty of buffets. Uh, in Branson. So you can start the preparation now and then next year come in and see us. Yeah. You know, uh, that brings up something. I did an interview this morning uh, with Runs with Scissors down here. Really? Yeah. And uh, we were just (laughs) discussing about how Branson is unique because we get so many people uh, that everyone, even in the same industry, kind of supports each other. I mean, you're all doing martial arts, granted different types, but you're very supportive of sending someone. Instead of convincing someone to stay here if you know it's not right for them right we try to be that way it's a difficult industry it's Uh with fight gyms it's very it's a very emotional uh business so we try to be that way at least now we are at a point where everybody's helping everybody and we all love each other so for now come and see us but next week we may have a fighter competing against one of their fighters and then we'll just friendly competition yes then we'll wait until two weeks later to talk about them yeah and you'll be out on the street holding a sign to promote that yes yeah that guy is no good come see us yeah so uh, real quick for people that want to get the schedule when fights are coming up do you guys have a website we do Uh, you want to go to uh, Branson Fight Club on Facebook okay it's right here it's Branson Fight Club on Facebook also uh, www.showfight.com S-H-O-F-I-G-H-T uh, you can go there for tickets and info on the fights mm-hmm. and uh, keep up with us on Facebook. Uh, we're a fun group of guys, and sometimes even if you're not interested in MMA, it's fun to watch what we're up to. And, and to watch the ring girls. And to watch the, yes, sir. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. You keep referencing so, your wife. Something, Let me reference yes. her. All right. No, her mother. Um, <laughs> something, something for everyone. Yeah, I absolutely. Shows, absolutely. So. And you never know. One of these times you come to the fights and you might see Christopher in the cage. Yeah. You never know. You never know. People threaten to put me in cages all the time. Maybe so. he'll just be the announcer or one of the ring boys, oh, but awesome. you'll never see him. Yeah, I'll do that. Absolutely. Color commentary, right? January there. 17th. You in? I'm in Mexico. See, he already ducked mm-hmm. a fight. No, I can't help it. But I got to tell you, when I'm out uh, in Mexico, Puerto Rico, I worked a lot last year. My wife called me in the really late at night, and I was in Puerto Rico. She said, where are you going? I'm like, I'm going to something called a, uh, a chicken, a cockfight sort of thing. Yeah. And she's like, where are you? I said, I'm in the back of this pickup truck. Oh, and, Lord. Uh, so I went out in the middle of nowhere with people I'd met at, uh, that were working at the restaurant. I ate at. And, no, Chris. Uh, it, was, it was insane. See, if those insane. of you that don't know Chris, he's an adrenaline junkie that does insane that crazy things. That is actually things. true. He, he really will come back here, and you won't see it on camera. He no, really I will be out people. here. Like, that is honestly yeah, true. Yeah, the same. She reminded me that four years ago, she called me in Hong Kong. And I was in the back of a freezer truck that some guys offered to take me to something. Very nice. Uh, it was me and a couple other people, but they loaded our little motorcycle in. And we should swap Hong Kong stories off yeah, camera. Yeah, a lot of those. Yeah, let's do that. that yeah, in Thailand. You, we got a lot make sure and check out his YouTube page. He's Thank got a hundred and <laughs> almost two hundred. Two hundred and some. Yeah. Two hundred and some videos. And if you rifle, if you go through them and rifle through them, this man You'll is a crazy person. Everything. He everything. is a crazy I hide person. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. So anyways, it was great talking yeah, to you. Yeah, for sure. Thank you, man. And uh, support the Branson Fight Club and go to the next event and spread the word about uh, about Branson Fight Club and allthingsbranson.com. Bye-bye. Oh, all right, that was awesome. To, okay. Oh, we don't have to actually hit, do we? I don't know what to do. We have to. I never know what to do with my hands. It's regulated. Let me just, okay, look, TIE Fighter. I fit, there we go. I don't think we can get better than that. <laughs> no, I, I think we should it. just Bye-bye. go away now.